Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Smartphones have seen a pretty big update. We can now control many aspects of Anime Studio by creating smartphone dials. You can see we have some laid out here. So first, let's take a look at the Stroke Exposure. Now, Stroke Exposure is a drawing tool where we can expose a line gradually. Well, now, if we did a smart bone action placing the Stroke Exposure at zero and then another frame with it going all the way out, we can use the dial then to create this exposure effect and control just how much is exposed. The same goes for different effects on your style palette. For instance, we're using shading here. And you can see as we page forward, once we release the mouse, you can see the effect. You can't really see it when you're playing with the dial, but let's come down here to the timeline and add some animation. We can go out to frame 48, move the dial downward, and then we can go back here to frame one. And if we scrub along now, you can see the animation take place. So there's definitely some animation going on there with the smart bone dial. And this even extends to 3D shapes. So if you use a lot of 3D shapes, we could in this case control the thickness of the 3D shape. And in order to make a 3D shape, you can just convert any vector graphic over to it, as you may know. But once you have the smart action set down, we can just come in and out like this and control the thickness of the 3D shape. And of course we have tutorials on 3D shapes if you want to learn more. Now with your gradients, not only can you adjust the position, as you can see we bring it down like this, it changes the position, and we have some animation down here already to demonstrate this. Let's just go over here to frame 48 and reapply that really quick here. Um, you can see here that as we scrub forward, it definitely changes the position of the gradient. Now, for the gradient itself, we can come in here and, for instance, if we take the dial and we move it, just like that, you can see that we are basically adjusting the gradient itself, the colors of the gradient, and then we can move the position. So, there's a lot we can do here. You can see it's like really just playing with different things here and really adds a lot of control to what you can do with your smart bone dials. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. And the Content Paradise channel has many more tutorials on bones and smart dials in general. So if you're looking to learn how to create these smart bone actions, be sure to check out those videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.